All right. Well, uh, I, I think I'm, I think I'm here and doing this right. It's uh, day drinking with David, but David is actually uh, indisposed on the sales floor due to crazy Thanksgiving time. So uh, you get me today and we're doing something a little bit different. Today, we have uh, the best canned cocktails that I have ever had the pleasure of tasting. And I have tasted very, very many over the last several years. Uh, today, we've got Death & Co. Got them right here. Three great looking cocktails. And you heard me right, it is Death & Co. So, you know, one of the world's absolute best bars, winner of best cocktail menu. I mean, you name it, these guys are killing it. They have this incredible bar in New York City. They've opened one in Denver, one in Los Angeles. Uh, it, it's, it, it's an empire, really, of spectacular, spectacular cocktailing uh, and just really elevated the craft and sort of the one of the leaders in the cocktail movement that we've seen over the last, say, 20 years or so. Um, when I heard they were making a canned cocktail, I was thrilled to get the chance to taste them. Um, and I just tasted them on Monday. They just arrived uh, on Tuesday uh, and or on Wednesday. And here we are on Thursday tasting them. So let's get right into it. Uh, these are all 200 mil. I've got the first one right here, which is the Aurora Highball. They're 200 mil. The first two I'm gonna taste are 8%. They are proper cocktails. And really the thing that excited me the most about these um, is, is that there's nothing else you have to do. Most canned cocktails that have gone the route of elevating the can, uh, to a, you know, a proper cocktail that you would expect in a great bar, you know, they still require you to pour it on ice, garnish it, which is fine, you know, but to me, the whole point of a canned cocktail is I want to drink it on the train to the Giants game, or I want to drink it at the beach or at the pool. I don't have ice on me. I don't have a glass. I don't have whatever the like specific garnish is. I don't carry a hibiscus flower around, you know, for some of these kind of cocktails. So, um, I was pretty stoked when Death & Co. set out to make a cocktail that was just as close as you could get to getting it in their bar. All you have to do is have a cold can, whether that's in an ice box or a fridge, pop it open and go. So, the Aurora Highball. Mm, absolutely outstanding. Let me tell you what's in it. So we've got Woody Creek Vodka, great uh, craft distillery out of Colorado. Pear Brandy, which is coming from Clear Creek, um, and then a Death & Co. Sake with green tea and mint infusion. Now, I'm told that these, uh, these cans, the R&D on these cans was ridiculous. They, you know, when you're making a batch cocktail, anybody who's ever batched a cocktail at home knows that you can't just scale up your cocktail recipe. It, it just doesn't work quite right. You never get the dilutions right. The flavors don't necessarily mash. So these guys are doing, you know, imagine if you've ever been to a winery, a giant stainless steel wine tank. They're doing tank-sized cocktails for this project. And they went through, I think, almost 10 iterations for most of these cocktails, full-sized, trying to get it just right. And they dialed it in. These are absolutely crushable, super refreshing. Um, typically, for canned cocktails, I go for, like, I want... You know, something like the Salt Point Margarita, just like super basic, done well, balanced, but they're not, you know, they're just, they're, they're providing great cocktails on the go, but they're not elevated cocktails particularly because as so far, I haven't tasted any that I think are worth it until now. These Death & Co. cocktails are, are ridiculous. So, um, beautiful little hint of sake back there, the green tea. Um, fresh mint, it's lively. And this is just straight out of the fridge. Didn't do anything else to it. Um, they come in four packs. They're all packaged in these four packs. These are 20 bucks for the four packs. So you're paying five bucks for a cocktail. Um, but I, I think, you know, well worth it given the quality of these. Um, we're gonna keep it short and sweet today because I have to get back to the sales floor as well. Um, and up next, Moon Sail Fizz. This is Bimini Gin, uh, liqueur with passion fruit, vanilla, and lime. Like I said, I tasted these on Monday. Uh, had, 
had some barbecue at Capello's, my favorite place in Redwood City, and uh, got to taste these after after having some barbecue for lunch. And this Moonsail Fizz, mm, it's like a vacation. It is absolutely beautiful. The passion fruit is great, really bright, um, not cloying at all, super lively still. Um, you know, there's some sweetness there, but it's just, it's not over the top, which is just gorgeous. Um, yeah, it tastes pretty much like you've just been transported to Hawaii. So if you're, um, desperately in need of a vacation, but can't go anywhere, uh, as you know, many of us are, uh, highly recommend the moon sail fizz, bimini gin, liqueur, passion fruit, vanilla, and lime. Just a Beautiful cocktail, super easy drinking, um, totally a poolside crusher, beach crusher, easy, 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 easy. Um, up next, the last cocktail that's happening right now, before I get into that, it's a Ranger Buck, but before I get into it, one of the really cool things about this project is that Death & Co. will be releasing new cocktails throughout the year. It'll be like a seasonal cocktail menu at Death & Co., You'll be able to pick these up at k &L, other retailers, um, I'm sure, will we'll get on board as well. And throughout the year, it's like, you're, you know, it's like you're taking that trip to New York, but if you can't go, you can't go. Um, I think the three that they launched with are just stunning. Again, super easy, just pop them open. This one is a little bit higher proof. These are 11% for the Ranger Buck. This has one of Death & Co.'s absolute signature ingredients, uh, the birch inclusion here. So that is birch like the tree. Um, Woody Creek bourbon, bitters, ginger, and birch. So you're getting really uh, that elevated cocktail experience here. You're getting ingredients that you wouldn't use at home, which I think is, until now, has been so hard to do in a way that was compelling in a canned cocktail. These are perfectly diluted, no need to pour them on ice. Uh, just pull them out of the fridge with a cooler and go. Uh, the buck here, mm, I grabbed a spit bucket, but I don't need it. Um, again, it's fantastic, really zippy. That ginger just pops, um, it keeps everything feeling like, I don't even know how to describe it. it it's, it's full and rich, but light. Um, it tastes like a proper cocktail. It's, it's refreshing and satisfying. Um, yeah, I like really can't believe that I'm on here singing the praises of canned cocktails, but, uh, you know, when, when I tasted one that I thought was really worth shouting about, it was worth, worth mentioning. So, uh, I do highly recommend grabbing some of these. The Ranger buck is 24 99 for the four or 23 99 for the four pack. So six bucks a can, um, a little bit more expensive for the bourbon that goes into it. You know, these are, uh, super high quality craft producers and just dynamite. And like to me, the Holy grail of canned cocktail, something I actually want to drink and that I don't have to do any work for. Um, it's the first time I've seen it and I've tasted literally hundreds of canned cocktails over the last couple of years. So, um, didn't see anybody with too many questions. So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about these. Um, other whiskey news, Lafroy cast strength batch 13 landed today. Hirsch Barrel is sold out. Um, Resilient 16s are in stock from Tennessee. Uh, grab one of those before they go. Cast Strength, 16-year-old Tennessee. Can't go wrong there. Um, yeah. Otherwise, these are live. They're ready to go. Um, hope you guys enjoy them as much as I have. I really do think it's something special. And I uh, hope you all have a very happy Thanksgiving. And we'll see some of you soon. If, uh, if you're in Redwood City, pop in and say hi. I'm here for the next four days on the sales floor. Talk to you later. Bye.